Here we got the Spiderball SRB 375. This is the smallest model in the Spiderball lineup. And to review this thing, we're joined by my bird. Can you say hi? I've shot some Splatterball products in the past. They are really good. Anyways, let's get into unboxing this. This box is pretty big for an SMG or pistol blaster. Let's open this thing up. Let's open this box lid up. Looks like we got some instructions. Here, pretty nice protective eyewear. A charger, 2,000 rounds of Splatterball ammo. The blaster itself and a loading funnel. Let's put this box away. This blaster is actually much, much bigger than I thought. I thought I'd be able to use this as a sidearm. Looking at it now, this looks more like a primary blaster. This is originally a $50 blaster. You can usually find this blaster for around $30. I picked this one up for $14 on a Walmart sale. So to get to the battery, we open this lid right here. And then we got a 7.4 volt battery. This battery is very small compared to other Splatterball blasters. And with all the stuff you get, that's quite a bit for a $30 blaster. This blaster only has a safety and an automatic option. Sadly, there is no semi-auto feature, which would make this blaster a lot better. The only sight we really got is this rail right here. The blaster also has a sling clip. This sling clip is made for the Splatterball sling. You can either buy a sling or buy a stock to put on the back of this. Or you can do what I do, which is just going to be leaving it as is. Let's get this blaster plugged in and see how it sounds. Let's get this off safe and put it in full auto. That sounds a lot different from other splatterball blasters. This blaster shoots a supposed 7 rounds per second at 135 feet per second. But we're going to check that out later. To load this blaster, you pull this little slide back and load the ammo straight into there. And to load our ammo, we're going to take Splatterball's refill bottle. If you want one of these, you can find them down in the description. Sometimes you can find these bottles for $1.50 and they come with 20,000 rounds of ammo. All you have to do is pour the ammo into a refill bucket and let it grow. Without further ado, let's get this ammo into here. Before we get to the chronograph test, let's talk a little bit about this gun. All Splatterball models start with an SRB before the name. The number after it is according to how much ammo capacity it has. In this case, SRB 375 means it has 375 ammo capacity. They also got the SRB 400 that has a 400 round ammo capacity. Then they got the SRB 1200 which has a 1200 round ammo capacity. The Splatterball brand says to only use their gel balls, but anything really works with these. It's just that you get better performance with the Splatterball brand gel balls. Today we're going to be using a $9 pack that I usually get off Amazon. If you want to get the the bullets that I'm using, click the link down in the description. Now I'm going to say it for you, this blaster is very, very ugly. But before we judge it on looks, let's see how it shoots. We got the blaster here, let's see how it shoots. 107.7 feet. 136.2 feet. 119.4 feet. 136.8 feet. 139.2 feet. 138.8 feet. That's a little bit above box average, which is still pretty good. Now let's see how many rounds per second it shoots. Shooting just around 6.5 to 7.3 rounds per second. Shoots pretty good and right on par with box average. Now let's see the accuracy. This blaster shoots pretty great, especially for being a $30 blaster. I was aiming for the center on those dots and they weren't too far off. And I also got a couple shots right on the bullseye. This blaster is so fun to shoot and very fun to play with. Even though this is very fun to use, I'd never use this as a primary during a gel blaster war. I'd prefer to use something like the Surge XL. This would be cool to have a sling just tie behind your back for a secondary, but it's kind of a big blaster for a secondary. This blaster is great if you're on a budget and you don't want to spend that much on a gel blaster. If you want to get this gel blaster for yourself, Click the link down in the description. If you guys like this video, you might like some of my other ones. Click this video right here to watch my last Gel Blaster War. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.